food obsessed wine bar or a wine obsessed restaurant? Ed Herman of Brown and Crouppen and I recently stopped by Tannen Wine Bar to find out. Creative freedom on the menu. Yes. What do you get when, when you have that kind of freedom? Yeah. What it's does a it lead scary. to? <laughs> this looks like the kind of dish that comes from freedom. Tell what, what are we looking at here? Uh, I've been dying to try that pasta. <laughs> yeah, this, you have this, been. Uh, we make the pasta in house. Uh, it's a uh, Papadilly uh, pasta. It's uh, sitting on a rosé sauce, which is uh, traditionally kind of like a cross between a marinara and an Alfredo, which is mm -hmm. not quite what we have here, but it's a uh, tomato sauce See, with some you, cream. You can tell that that pasta is mm. homemade. There's such a difference. You can always tell the second you bite into it. It was yeah. made in the back of, of a box. <laughs> but tell me, how do you know when you're developing the menu? Because, oh, you know, I mean, you got to make sure you make a lot of people happy. How do you decide what stays and what goes? Uh, I, I really try to, you know, uh, keep my ear to the ground per se. The servers or the manager would be like, hey, people really like this dish, uh, people don't like this dish, you know, I'll put oh, things on. Oh, you get on. feedback. That's yeah, the thing. So. And, and, that, and that's important because it shows that your main goal is to please the people. But a lot of places, you yeah. sometimes you think the main goal is the chef wants to please himself. Yeah. And let the There's people like, like it or not. Right. Component, right. But I do think the key is look at the feedback, listen to what the customers like, and if they want it, they'll get it. This is a staple though, right? I mean, you can't go wrong with a burger. Yes. With an egg on it. Oh, <laughs> yes. The, Give me the, some of that. Let me move that. I know you've been eyeing yeah. that egg. I, I love eggs. I know you do. I like fries too. The egg is definitely uh, uh, optional for sure, but the, the burger is an uh, eight ounce Wagyu patty, um, mm. and, and it's got a, a Weeby Mild Cheddar, which is a, a local. Uh, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm murdering it. Do it, do it, do it up, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to, mean, <laughs> no, I'm trying this to be is graceful. Very graceful. This is how you gracefully eat a burger, okay? <laughs> it's kind of a little rare too, which is, which is good. What we're very excited about is this dessert, which is a, a bread pudding with, with avocado ice cream. Tell us mm. about that. Uh, so this is uh, essentially my playoff of an avocado and toast. So it's a, a tarragon bread pudding with uh, avocado ice cream on top and a strawberry jam. Well, uh, like, well you probably didn't know this, but I'm, I'm kind of known as Mr. Bread Pudding. <laughs> and she's kind of known as Mrs. Avocado. Ms. So I feel Ms. like avocado. if we ever had a, a child together, yeah, this, this is, is exactly what it would look like. Yeah. This is it's our a little dessert, dessert baby. baby. It's a little Are weird looking melted dessert I'm baby. Not. It doesn't look weird to me. It's our child it's and it's special. beautiful. They're all special. Let's see what we got here. Get in. Mmm. Oh man. Wow. Our baby's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. So beautiful. It really is. Man, that's good. I was skeptical. What am I tasting? Uh, uh, tarragon. There's avocado. Well, yeah, ice but cream, there's something in the ice cream. It's a little bit of lime. Lime. That's what it is. Yes. Oh my God. He knew You're exactly. Fancy. Yeah. He knew exactly I named every ingredient but no, the one. No, <laughs> you knew. You could read my mind. He made it. I would get that again in an instant. I'm, I'm proud of it, and it's also I'm not like a, a really mm. sweet, sweet type yeah, of guy. Yeah, I'm the same. And, and this so is really a, it's got a lot of sweetness going on, but it's it's just a fine balance of of not too sweet and it's got the fruit component so it's it's so i really cool. like that dessert because of that reason uh, delicious well yeah. you should be proud your, <laughs> well your, your creative genius really shows through on this menu <laughs> well good done. work thank well you done. yeah <laughs> For more Taste and Seas, we will have a link on caseylive.tv later on today. Let's check in with Kelly.